Uh, so Wayne, thank you for sitting down with me here. Uh, I'll let you introduce yourself and tell us um, how long you've been at Sunrise and, and how you're involved and all the different things that you do at Sunrise. Okay, well, I'm Wayne Kimball and my family and I have been members here for about 17 years. I'm currently the uh, Finance Committee Chair. I am involved in the Men's Ministry uh, leadership as well. I help out with youth group, uh, you know, some Sundays. Mm -hmm. And uh, I help count the offering as well. Um, you know, there's a lot of activities going on here at the church, and I try to uh, you know, help out when I can. Yeah, that's awesome. That's a that's a good tie. Uh, so this is um, week three of our stewardship season. We've done prayer with uh, Susan O'Daniel. We've done time last week with Pat Haggard. Um, but let's let's stop there for a second, because though you are the finance chairperson, there's also quite a bit of your time that you give and offer here to Sunrise. Why to you? Why is that important? Um, it, to me, that, that's just uh, one more leg of the stewardship. Mm. Um, you know, the you know, with all of the events and the programs that we have here, um, you know, they they don't run themselves. Mm. Um, we have to have volunteers, and uh, you know, the a lot. I find what I do a lot is kind of center, centers around the kids, whether it's youth group, trunk or tree, breakfast with Santa, VBS. Um, you know, I was kind of going down the list, and I'm thinking, you know it's all children based mm -hmm. um you know the um you know we still do some men's night out events and you know some of them, some of the men's ministry stuff so um but a lot of the stuff when i'm here on site it tends to be more around the children mm -hmm. and uh you know children are very important to the church yeah yeah great so one of the things that i've heard often as pastor i've heard here because i'm new still but um, is when we talk about financial stewardship, that people just think it's a it's a practical thing, right? Mm -hmm. To keep the lights on, to pay the bills, and all that stuff, which is important. There's right. some truth to that. Mm -hmm. But I'm curious, as financial chairperson, is there more to financial stewardship than just the practicality? Is there a, a, a spiritual aspect to it? Maybe? Absolutely. The um, you know I, I think the giving kind of gives us a, a closer bond. Uh, to God and it strengthens our bond with him mm. and um, you know it, it's kind of our um, responsibility to uh, you know take care and manage the resources that God has given us um, and if we handle the spiritual part right um, the practical part kind of takes care of itself mm. Great. so we've been in um, Exodus and a little bit of Leviticus in this stewardship season um, which is a really interesting part of the Bible because God's instructing these newly freed Israelites how to live, how right. to conduct themselves. One of the things he teaches them is generosity. So he, he talks about, as we heard today, giving of our first fruits. So he mm -hmm. says, plant and harvest and of that harvest, you're going to give me the first first fruits. Right. What does that mean? First fruits? Like how do we apply that in your opinion and your thoughts today? What does giving of our first fruits mean? Um, well, for me, financially, um, on that aspect, it's uh, I, I make the financial de financial decision uh, a priority. Mm. I, I'm making the church, making God a priority. Mm. You know, filling out the you know, my monthly, yearly budget, whatever it is. You know, my household budget is uh, I, I'm putting God first, mm. and so that's you know the top priority is my financial giving. Mm. Um, but in addition to the giving, to me, there's also service that goes along with that. Mm -hmm. And um, in order to make service a priority, you need to be intentional. And, uh, you know, just the good thing about Sunrise is we have so many things going on. We are always busy. There's so many events going on. So just being intentional of volunteering for something mm -hmm. and uh, getting involved. Mm -hmm. Good. I'm always reminded in stewardship of uh, Jesus' parable of the talents. I think he is. We're not going to do it this stewardship season, but it's always a good one to come back to. He, right. you know, he talks about this this um, this owner who gives his servants five talents: one, two, and one, one. The one with five goes make five more. Two goes make two more, and one buries it. He didn't want to lose it. Right. Right. And thinking about how God gives us all gifts financially with our hands with our feet all these different things are we burying it in the sand or are we trying to do something with it so that's great so in this um this stewardship season our theme has been to lay it down it's a song that we have sung now for two straight weeks this is our third one 
I'm, I'm hoping everyone now knows it by heart. How does that phrase, lay it down, resonate in your soul? As overwhelming as things can be in life, as all of your burdens, all of your, you know, just everything that's going on in life, sometimes it can be overwhelming. And I just, you know, lay everything down. Mm. Um, you know, I, I just want to lay it down for God. Mm. Let Him handle it. Um, you know, we, you know, I, I can't handle everything on my own. Mm. I know that. Mm. Um, even though I try to do it a lot. <laughs> um, it's just, you know, you, I, I will get to a point of, um, I'm just overwhelmed. I need, I need help. And that's when I fall back and go into my prayer. Give all the burdens to Him. Mm. Let Him handle it. And everything, everything works out. Yeah. You know, not necessarily on my timeline. Um, it rarely works out on my timeline. <laughs> um, you know, I want it done now. But, um, just having faith and uh, and God will take care of it. That's correct. Wayne, thank you for everything that you do here at Sunrise and not just in the world of finance, but in the ways in which you give up your time with the youth, with the kids, trunk or treat, with the men's ministry. Really appreciate all you've done here. Sure. Okay. Thank you.